Ninja Kurt has been busy the last few weeks updating all of his maps, and today we're going to be taking a look here at Cork County. Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here with another updated map tour of Cork County. Now this map is still by Ninja Kurt, and he's been very, very busy with a lot of map updates lately. As you can see, this version here is 1.0.0.1. And if we jump here into the description and we come down, you can see that the change log here is a uh, new game save required right off the bat. Fix the issue on field 37, removed trees at field corners, added more fill type support, changed starting vehicles, changed starting crops, made main farm area clear of trees, curbs, and lights at higher difficulty levels, moved three roads to make more room for placeables, and reduced memory usage. So speaking of the memory, it's 129.71 megabytes now. So that's pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay and look at those other things. And we're going to do this a little different. We're going to look at New Farmer first, and then we'll jump over to the other two and see what he's talking about with the uh, clearing of the area with the higher difficulties. All right, everybody. So once again, we're going to start right here in front of the shop. But we'll be able to go right over here to our farm. And I don't necessarily see anything different right now. He said he moved some roads for placeables. But I'm still not sure exactly what he means by that. But we're going to come over here. Everything here looks the same. We still have the double garage, which we had before. We got the additional garage shed thing right here. We still have this. So it looks like our starting equipment now is going to be oh, the nice uh, cultivator. We've got a cedar. We've got a uh, lime wagon or spreader. We've got the um, Valtra. That's nice. Front weight. Looks like everything else is going to be over here now. We still have the big silo. I better get on the other side of the tracks. We've got a New Holland harvester and a header. We've got two trailers. we got the big fent, so that's nice. And then down here we have another harvester, another tractor, and another trailer. So that's really, really interesting. So it's actually a collecting wagon. Wow, that's nice. And a John Deere, what, 6250R? That's great. We've got an ideal. Holy cow, with a New Holland adder. That's really, really cool. And it's a 9T also. Man, starting you out with the good stuff here. So... That's everything on the main farm that looks a little different. Let's jump around to some places and see if we can see... I don't know what he means by road for placeables. Maybe it's back here. What do you guys think? Well, this is the field. I don't think you'd want to put anything inside the soccer field. Check out over here. So there is an area here now that you could maybe put some silos down. That's cool. You got a little bit of a road that goes up this way. Maybe that's what he's talking about. I don't really see anything else around the map. Um, I wonder up here if he fixed anything about the cell points. Let's go check this out. Are we going to run into the wall again? I don't think I'm supposed to be this far over. I think I'm outside the map now. Because you can see that little bit of a bump. Yeah. So right here is still the corner of the map. So that didn't get fixed. But if you're playing on it, I'm sure you've already figured out ways around it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump over to the other... Uh, gameplay really quick because I don't think there was anything else. There was nothing else that we needed to look at here. Um, oh, the starting crops. That's right. The starting crops. What are you going to start with now? So back down here, you're going to have wheat and oats in these two fields. So tons of straw, but you don't have a baler, which is really interesting. He did not give you a baler um, starting out. Not that he has to, but really, really interesting. So... Um, added field type support. I'm not sure exactly what he means by that. Um, it looks like everything here is good. 
So yeah, let's jump over into the other um, mode of play, right? Um, let's go to start from scratch. I want to see what that looks like. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so here we are. We just jumped in straight from the, uh, you know, the load screen. So if we come this way, I can already see that you're not going to have, like he said, any of those trees. You're not going to have the silo and anything like that. So the one disadvantage that I see of starting this way is your silo. So you're not going to be able to have your silo here and sell at those points. Now I wonder, could we buy it and try and place it? Did he make it easy? Let's look here at uh, land cost. So this one is going to be 115. All right, we'll buy that. This one over here is going to be 189. All right, so we have 194 left. Let's hope that the silo isn't more than that. Oh. I don't even see the silo. Yeah. Hmm. That's very interesting. I'm going to go through everything here real quick. I don't think it would be there. But under silos, you are not going to have access to that big silo. So, keep that in mind. If you want to use that silo, you are definitely, definitely going to want to uh, start on new farmer mode. But... Everything else is cleared out. If you're not worried about that, you do have a really nice clean slate here. So that's going to be it today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on all my latest console map tour updates, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.